Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Tuesday, June 10th, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. I would like to begin today with an email I received. Actually, a few of you have asked me, when will I be handicapping the new broadcast network television series? Well, exactly four weeks from today, I am heading to Los Angeles for the Summer Television Critics Association press tour, where I will be reporting for three weeks. And I will be sitting in all the sessions with all the new shows, and I will be handicapping from there. So stay tuned. Yesterday, the broadcast networks released the data for the traditional season, which is September through May, DVR usage. Now, every morning when I put out the newsletter, I crunch the overnights from one night earlier. But what I always say is this is just a preliminary look in terms of what will lie ahead. And the DVR usage is very imperative because it is telling you how many additional viewers and what age ranges are tuning into the show after it aired live. So based on... The live plus same day data versus the live plus seven, which includes DVR usage, the show on the broadcast networks that benefits the most is the blacklist on NBC. For the season, it added an additional 6.1 million viewers. This is very significant. Number two was the Big Bang Theory on CBS with an additional 5.5 million viewers. And number three, which was a big surprise to me, was Elementary on CBS with an additional 4.6 million viewers. Fourth was Modern Family on ABC. And number five was Person of Interest on CBS. And rounding off the top 10 were ABC dramas Castle and Scandal, NCIS on CBS, Grey's Anatomy on ABC, and Sleepy Hollow on Fox. Dramas were way more prominent in terms of DVR usage than the sitcom format. I have more specifics for you on all of the DVR usage in today's newsletter and at our website. Now, here's an item that really annoys me. Less than one month ago, Barbara Walters retired. I say retired like this. There was a two-hour special on ABC. The View made a whole big production. All the old co-hosts came back. Barbara retired. Well, guess what? She hasn't retired. She's already coming back less than one month after leaving. Barbara Walters will be interviewing Peter Roger, who was the father of Elliot Roger, who was the person behind that killing spree in Santa Barbara, California. This will air in a special edition of 2020, and chances are retired Barbara Walters will be coming back again and again. Over at MTV, the cable network has picked up its scripted sitcom Faking It for a second season. It has ordered 10 new half-hour episodes. The current first season of Faking It is concluding this evening. TV Land has announced an upcoming um, promotional partnership with book series Chicken Soup for the Soul. I have more specifics for you in today's newsletter. Jennifer Falls, by the way, debuted last Wednesday on TV Land with just 890,000 viewers out of 860,000 from hot in Cleveland. This is not a very positive start. Comedy Central has announced two upcoming new scripted sitcoms. They are called Another Period and Idiot Sitter. And Comedy Central has renewed Inside Amy Schumer, Re Preview, and Trip Tank for new seasons. I have more specifics for you in our newsletter. NBC drama The Bridge, which is coming back for its second season on July 9th, is currently available in season one on Hulu. Plus, and coming up on the air tonight on ABC is Game 3 of the NBA Finals, which means that ABC will win the evening. Today in TV history, let's go back to 1991 was the conclusion of the very bizarre, um, surreal drama Twin Peaks on ABC. It aired for one and a half seasons. It produced 30 episodes. It debuted to a roaring amount of of critical acclaim. Viewers tuned in in droves. Then it got very bizarre. The ratings dropped and it only lasted one and a half seasons. And then on this day in 1989 was the debut of HBO horror anthology Tales from the Crypt, which ultimately aired for seven seasons. It produced 93 episodes. And that is our daily video cast from TV Media Insights on this 10th day of June. I thank you for joining me and I will see you back tomorrow. Have a great day.